Hey guys, we've been given this equation and we're being asked to graph the circle, okay? Now you've probably been graphing circles in standard form, right? When it's in this form, it's nice and easy. The center and the radius are right in front of you. But now you're like, uh, what do I do when it looks like this, right? So what we're gonna do first is get it to standard form and then go ahead and graph it, okay? So to get this to standard form, we want it to look like this, right? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our X's together and our Y's together. So we're just rearranging it, okay? So we're gonna end up with x squared plus 4x plus y squared minus 10y equals seven, okay? So I haven't changed anything, I just moved things around, right? So my x's are now together and my y's. Now what we're going to do is we're going to complete the square twice, okay? If you aren't familiar with completing the square, I'm going to do it here. But also if I go too fast, you're like, oh, I need a review on that. I will link some videos for you in the corner where I do it more in depth. Okay. Okay. So we're going to start first with our X's. Okay. So right now we are focused right here. My goal, right, to get to a standard form of a circle is I want two parentheses squared. Okay, so that is why we are completing the square. So first we're going to focus on the x's. What I do is I take b over 2 and square that. Now, when we're talking about this, we've got the x squared plus 4x. The b I'm referring to is the number in front of the x, so it's 4. Okay, so I'm going to take 4, divide it by 2, and square it. Okay, 4 divided by 2 gives me 2. And 2 squared gives me 4, okay? So 4 is my magic number that I'm going to add that's going to help me factor this to a parenthesis squared, okay? So I'm going to add 4 to this side. I'm adding it to this side of the equal sign, which means I also need to add it to this side of the equal sign, right? We always want to keep things balanced, okay? So for a second, I'm just going to rewrite the x's. So we have x squared plus 4x and then that four we added, okay? The y's are still there, we're just ignoring them for two seconds. So when I factor this, because I did, I'm doing completing the square, I know when I factor it, it's gonna be x plus two times x plus two, or I could just write it as x plus two squared, right? Okay, so, so far I'm getting a little closer, right? I have a parentheses squared. Now, I still have that plus y squared minus 10y equals, and I have the 7 plus 4. Remember, adding 4 to this side is what made it so I could factor it nicely like that. So I got to make sure I add the 4. So then on this side, I have 11, okay? All right, now we're going to complete the square with the y's, okay? As you do this more and more, you may be able to do them at the same time. Just for the sake of this example, I wanted to do them separately, okay? So I'm changing colors, okay? Because now we are focusing on the y's. I want this to be y plus or minus something squared just like this one is, okay? So to figure out what number I add to get it like that, I'm gonna take negative 10, divide it by two and square it. Okay, negative 10 divided by 2 gives me negative 5. We're going to square that. Negative 5 times negative 5 gives me a positive 25. Okay, so I'm adding 25 to this side of the equal sign. So I got to add it to the other side of the equal sign. Okay, so now I'm just going to focus on the y's for a second, but the x's are still there. Okay, so I'm going to have y squared minus 10y plus 25. Okay, again, because I did completing the square, I know that that's going to factor to y minus 5 times y minus 5, which I can just write as y minus 5 squared. Okay, for a funny short of when I messed this up, I'll link it in the corner. Okay, all right, so now we have that. Now I just got to rewrite everything else. Okay, we still have the plus x plus 2 squared. And we are equal to 11 plus 25, which gives me 36. Okay. All right. Now 
Is that looking more like we want it to look? Yes, it's matching up now, right? Okay, so here is that equation in standard form, okay? It's the same equation. We moved things around. We added to both sides a little bit, but it's the same equation, but now we can easily graph it, right? So when it's like this, I know that my center is the H and K, and because of those minuses, we know it's the opposite sign, right? So my center is going to be negative 2, 5, okay? If you're not super familiar with this part, I'll link a video in the corner, okay? My center is negative 2, 5. My radius is what it's equal to, sorry, my radius squared is what it's equal to, right? So I know my radius squared is 36, so what's just my radius without the squared? Well, I'm going to take the square root, right? And I get that my radius is 6, okay? Radius is 6. So let's go ahead and graph this, okay? Here we go. With just these two pieces of information, I can graph this, right? So my center is negative 2, 5. So right there. And then my radius is six. So easiest way to do it is I'm going to go up six to the right six, left six, and down six, right? And that's going to give me the outline, basically, of my circle, okay? So I'm going to go to the right six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Up six, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we're a little off the graph. About there, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And down from my center, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, this is kind of like when you graph a line. You don't have to graph every point on the line, right? That would literally take forever. So, usually four points of my circle gives me a pretty good idea of what it looks like. It's not going to be perfect when I sketch it, but it's going to look a little something like that. Okay? All right, hopefully this made sense. We weren't in standard form when we started. We used completing the square to get to standard form, and then we were able to graph it, okay? If you need any other graphing circle videos, I will link a playlist for you, but hopefully this made sense. Thanks, bye.